Happy Friday, Training SA family. It's the first Friday under level one, and we are here to usher you into the weekend the best way we know how. I've got some very special guests with me today. On my right, Dr. McSteamy, Dr. McDreamy. Dr. Fez is in the building. <laughs> 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 and of course, the king of shade, Anum Lazi. Say it like it is, Mable. I'm the emperor from Lazi first, then the shade is something I do on the side. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Side hustle. <laughs> side hustle. <laughs> Guys, we also have a queen, an emperor introducing a queen in our midst this evening, <laughs> to take the fourth seat, the mother to Ushaga mm. and Nefertiti, mm. the Duchess of Hotness, Her Royal Highness. Oh wait, I don't get to say Her Royal Highness. I just go Nandi Madida. Welcome to Trading Oh, What an intro! <laughs> thank you so much, thank you, thank you. You guys are so much fun. And just so everyone knows, none of us have been drinking. This is literally <laughs> the kind of fun we have so far. Whenever, whenever <laughs> somebody says that, Nandi, people think <laughs> they've been drinking. <laughs> okay, speak for yourself. Like, so, <laughs> Nandi, before you help us with today's agenda, let's catch up. Sure. You are featured in the internationally acclaimed magazine, Nude, which has the likes of Tiger and Maseko grace the cover. You are Queen Nandi. I'm sure there's a lot of people that call you up every day, every morning to say, please grace us in this magazine. How do you choose which magazine gets this? Well, no, the calls I get every day, and thank you so much for that as more. Mm. Mom, can I please have this? Mommy, mommy, <laughs> Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. <laughs> but um, every now and then, um, especially obviously after Black is King, uh, it's been crazy. You Was know, that the thing that you did with Beyonce? Yes, it oh. was a right hand hand, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been amazing just being able to work in two different time zones and it's something I don't take for granted. It's been crazy. So even New Magazine, for them reaching out and saying, hey, listen, we want to interview you and, and doing stuff with Vice. And, mm. and of course, hopefully, if the whole team wins a Grammy, yeah, it'll mm. be incredible. Launching your beauty line, oh. colorful beauty out. Oh, you see you what I do? do? <laughs> <Drop them both. laughs> Please tell us all about it, like how it started, uh, what it is, even just so our viewers get a little bit more. So honestly, uh, it's just mainly, and, and on a more serious note, just to empower females in terms of, you know, our beauty, our aesthetics, who we are. So it's wellness, and yes, it is beauty. It is a, a marketplace where people can buy all these incredible beauty products, mm. and we're so excited excited um, to launch it. So look out for that. That's going to be absolutely incredible. Colorful beauty coming out. Anyway, let's move to our round table discussion. Yes. We've got you here. We need to get into some hard gas. Cool. Uh, so we just spoke about how Africa is a hot commodity right now, Nandi being one of them. And who is hotter right now? Oof, and literally and physically and Ooh. anyway, let me focus. Our African <laughs> giant, Burner Boy. It was announced this week that he'd be performing at the 2021 Grammy pre-show on the 14th of March. What do you guys make of this? I'm personally rooting for him in many, many ways. <laughs> what do you guys make Honestly, of this? Honestly, I'm excited. Yeah. Um, yes, we are Delela, but <laughs> he's extremely talented. I'm really excited for that. I actually win, he, I wish he would win something more mainstream, you know, that global category. I feel like he's earned his stripes to be, you know, at the forefront in and terms I, of... I, I, as I say, Nami, as a good Christian boy, <laughs> um, I have to say congratulations, yeah, and I great. wish that he actually gets it, because if he gets it, it's for the continent. But we are Delel. <laughs> hey guys, can we just be happy that Africans are being put so Absolutely. far on exactly. top? Christians and to be Mdanko. honest, I'm a huge, honestly, a burner boy. Shout out to you. You're really talented. I was a huge fella and Femi Guti fan. Mm. So I feel like he's honestly taking that legacy to the next level, which is beautiful to see. I mean, he didn't win last year, so he did write a little bit of a, of a snub lyric towards that. I, I remember two. when I couldn't level two. up. Because the Grammys had me feeling sick, so went up and stuff. Hey. Asking questions like, why wasn't it us? Almost had a person feeling envy, yeah, sick. Hey. 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 Hold me back, hold me back. Hey. 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 Oh, drop spike. Hey. <laughs> so, I mean, you've heard her. Uh, I feel like burn a girl. Uh, it's our chair. Drop us a message on our social media and tell us if you have been snubbed before. 
maybe, I mean, you felt like that man or woman was yours and someone came and scooped them up, kind of like Burner and uh, Winning. Tweet us on hashtag <laughs> it's our on three. Mm. So, the virtual Paris Fashion Week 2021 kickstarted earlier in the week, and their star studded fashion lineup included South African rising fashion designer and 2019 LVMH winner Tebe Mako. Yay! The talented designer shared his inspiration for the Autumn Winter 21 collection and dubbed From Healing Plants to Tribal Scars, Eish, mm. which speaks to his spiritual journey into healing. I mm. love that. It's so deep. And very deep. if you missed his virtual showcase, his virtual showstopper, we got you. Let's have a look at a short film titled Banyoloi Abu Sikhu, mm. Ultimate Midnight Angels. That's why we said that. Mouse. Kuluma loko ogzelu zo kuluma no mupume pamguam. Kibani trade lady whirlwind. Bako nine venom. That's okay. When a mouse, we see seven summers carving. And from video to pictures, let's take a look at his brilliant and breathtaking collection. Oh, those boots okay. were made for walking. Mm. Uh, and the next picture we have, oh guys. Now this is for me. This. I just want to eat his collection. Oh. Like, oh. oh. <gasps> boots. Oh. oh, I love them so much. So Guys, what do you think of the collection, the movie? You I, know, for me personally, mm -hmm. so I love his shapes. Mm. I love how almost adventurous he is, and it's yeah. very unique, and I think that's why. I remember, actually, when they did that ad for the LVMH, you know, competition, mm -hmm. and really and truly, I think people need to understand how great what he has achieved is because the whole world enters mm. the whole world of designers mm. and for you to come top you know after all those people you know competing with all those incredible talents means you have something truly mm. truly special and he always has been it's i mean look at like, his designs so nandi do you want to do me the honors oh my goodness it would be a pleasure <laughs> <laughs> Questa today dropped a new song fire in the ghetto and we have him on the line to talk to us about his new banging hit mr duncan good evening one of the best <laughs> rappers in the house absolutely uh, i'm happy about you this <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you dropped new music today, Fire in the Ghetto. Um, can you tell yeah. us about that? And also, are you like more working towards a body of music, like an album or an EP? And how do you feel? How do you feel? Oh my God, that's so many questions. Please answer them all. I'm so sorry. I'm so excited. <laughs> no, <all> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am working towards an album. Um, I've actually done with the album. Um, it's finished, it's completely mm -hmm. done. And, and also, yeah, the song is yeah. called Fire in the Ghetto. Mm -hmm. and, and, and out there, what I hope to do with the song is inspire, really. You know, it's it's, it's really talking about inking as his big as his face out Mr. Luxin, you know. And I feel like half the time it's not caught there. When Ban was caught from the day, that's gonna be Luxin, you know, and, and and half the things people do are kind of made to impact the people that are sort of in the areas where the decisions are happening, you know, but would say, So this song is to highlight those type of things and say, it's corner, not to corner scalangabo, you know, but siatanda that's corner snotando. We love each other and we love everything, but we you know. Um and, and it's it's choleganzi, you know, but generally it's it's really an inspiring song to say, I know where I'm from and I know what it looks like, but I I, I want to impact the world. You know, I just wanna let you know that there's fire out here and and, and we might need help with some of the flames you know, before before it spills over and then we start doing the wrong things, you know what I mean? And, and yeah, there's an album coming. Thank you so much, Kumbu, they must okay. remember. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you so much, my guy, and I'm all saying. the best with your upcoming body of work. We will be looking out Thank for you. it. Yeah. Right. Thank Bye. you so, so much. Queen Nandi. Oh, oh say Epra, my play. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, we go way back. Yeah, we go wait for those who know we've known each other's kids. Improbable. I've had to do this since I was a kid. Improbable. Thank you so much for joining Lord us. Mable. You were Everything absolutely Mable. amazing. <laughs> thank you and so much. And you must come back another time. One and more sorry, time. Sorry, can I just say thank you to all of you guys. What a beautiful show. And also, shameless plug, <laughs> Grammys. I don't know if you vote for Grammys and NAACP. I don't think we can. Vote yeah, anyway. but we we'll have a vote anyway. the word. Just. I'm hoping we get that, man, for mm. Best Music Me too. Thank right, you. guys, after the break, we are talking things all sports with Lebu Mutuidi. Stay tuned right here on Training SA. It's that on three. So, ah. like...
guys, welcome back. You're still tuned in to Trending SA right here on SABC3. Our next guest is a force to be reckoned with in the sports industry. She's smart, she's witty, she's opinionated. All the things that make up a good sports broadcaster. She's joining us tonight to round up the sporting week in and around the world. Welcome to Trending SA, Lebo Motsueli. Oh my gosh, what an intro. Those are lies. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hype. So, no, no, no. No. Uh, I love the fact that I'm saying your name because normally I hear when they say Lebo Mutsuedi. No, I get to uh, say it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lebo, the Mamelodi Sundowns owner, Patrice Mutsipe, is actually yeah. going for the CAF presidency. And uh, mm -hmm. we heard that um, there's rumors going around that some of the people that he was running alongside are actually dropping out of the race, but we'll hear that story that story actually unfold in the next week or so i just want to yeah. ask um what would this mean for south african football if he actually gets the job i think it, it would mean a lot i mean the guys maintained really a good ship with regards to my sundowns uh, the only south african team that has taken has taken us to a FIFA Club World Cup. So in terms of what he's done at Sundowns, the runnings of the team, and I think a lot of people only talk about uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, Patrice Mazzippi, but there is a football team that's also a female, a key Mamelodi Sundowns ladies. Mm. And what he's done with the team during COVID for me was really impressive. When everybody was struggling, the ladies were still taken care of. So I look at his work holistically, mm. and I do know that, I do feel that his platform far... Uh, um, reaches beyond African borders. He definitely is the guy to take over the CAF uh, seat and and put the, the South African spotlight, I mean, the spotlight on back onto South Africa again in terms of football. And anyway, we are the best league on the continent. So, I mean, it makes <laughs> I'm sense. Not saying it's, <laughs> a given. it's like it's a given. But Lebo, if Motsepe secures the presidency, will he be the, yeah. he'll be the first South African to actually step into the most powerful yeah. football seat on the continent. There have yeah. been some scandals around the seat itself kind of in the past. Do you think he's going to be able to kind of step in there and do it justice to kind of absolve all the scandal that's been there? Careful you now, know, Lebo. Always, careful. <laughs> <laughs> careful. I always fear it looks like the good ones, once they're given a particular seat, then the skeletons somehow yeah. come out. I don't understand. So this one, I'm going to just have to pray. It's Lent, ne? <laughs> Let's just pray that um, no skeletons come out. He, even Ahmed Ahmed, when he was elected, we were all excited. It's a new broom. It's going to be better than the previous one. And then, boom, scandals come out, mismanagement, financial worries, and who's come out. So let's just hope that with Patrice, he is our South African, um, that we can entrust him. He is a billionaire, after all. If he, mm. if, if he can manage to steer that ship. Um, with his monies, surely he can steer football, uh, African football, into a good state as well. We can <clears throat> move on to uh, a neutral place. <laughs> in tennis news, uh, the fifth ranking player in the world, Roger Federer, has withdrawn from this month's Miami Open, unfortunately, so he can spend extra time preparing kind of his work into um, what's been going on in terms of the tours. So Federer has had two knee operations last year. Yeah. Dropping out of the Miami Open means he will lose the 1,000 points he's had um, won last year around the same time. Granted, he will still be at the ATP Doha 2021 or the Qatar Open 2021. Will Doha and Qatar help him kind of regain his form again, bounce back after the operations? Yes. <laughs> I think I think it's a possibility, but I mean the guy is uh, turning forty in a couple of months. Exactly. He is mm. aging, yeah. um, and and he's he, now that he's cancelled the the, the current uh, uh, competition, the next one in Doha. I think it's a hard court. It's a little bit rough um, on the knees. I mean I know I'm not even forty yet, but that that impact of the knees mm. up to a certain age it's it's really difficult especially a pro athlete mm. but i still root for him i mean it's still it's still Roger Federer Rafael Nadal Novak Djokovic right up there with the best in the world you know yeah. um i think i think he he might be able to come back but he doesn't have anything to prove to anyone. You know, he's done it. He's been there, done it. Um, I just wish him well. He's almost 40. He's j he just doesn't want to give up yet, I mm. think. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I mean, obviously, we've also seen a lot of older gentlemen in sports. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Anyway, because, um, you know, obviously, Tiger Woods and his car accident and his injuries mm. and whether or not he'll come back. But bringing it back home, our girl, Miss Casta Semenya, has been shaking the sports world and she's taking her fight to the European Court uh, <clears throat> of Human Rights. Excuse me. She tweeted the following. This yeah. fight is not just about me. It's about taking a stand and fighting for dignity, equality, and the human rights of women in sports. All we ask is to be able to run free as the strong and fearless women we are. Thank you to all of those who have stood behind me. So if Custer wins her case, um, what implications would that have for her and for the sporting world in general? And how big of an impact do you think a win like that would do? Guys, I am one of the biggest cheerleaders for women in sports in the country. I stand by women in sport. And what I love about Casta is that the legacy that she will be leaving behind is that we do deserve equal treatment in sport. Mm. Um, every single time you hear of a Casta story, you have to explain that it is a female athlete. Mm. She is a woman. Mm. At no point are we referring to Tiger as a man. Mm. At no point are we referring to Roger Federer as a man. Mm. It's Roger Federer. Mm. We know what it what he is. Yeah. The minute we talk about Custer and the implications of um, too little testosterone, too much testosterone, what needs to be induced, etc., all we go on into is that she needs to be the same as other women. She's an athlete. Mm. So she will be making sure, I think, if she wins, that every single woman in sport gets treated with equal human yes. rights. Whether or not biologically you are born this way or that way, it doesn't matter. We are human and we are athletes at the end of the day, men or women. Thank Woo! you Woo! so much, Woo! Lebo Mutoding, for bringing us sport. <laughs> with balls. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's time for a commercial break, and when we get back, we take things to the next level with Vodacom and THNO. Don't go anywhere. to hashtag Ta on 3 pursuing your hustle and you don't know where to start? Well, Vodacom wants to be the light that connects you to your dreams and takes you to the next level with their tailored youth-orientated products that offer the best value for under 25s like me. Okay. Vodacom understands that pursuing your dream shouldn't be a hassle, which is why they're committed to giving you a great head start in your career. Their next level data-centric bundles to access the internet will empower you to create your own opportunities. And on that inspiring note of chasing your dreams and keeping the youth connected, our next segment is brought to you by Vodacom's Next Level and Everyone Connected campaign. Now, our next guest is a super talented musician who is well on his way to becoming one of South Africa's biggest musos. The talented THNO released his self-produced debut album last year, Ibsu. He is on the radar of some international heavyweights in the music industry, such as Jermaine Dupri. Mm. Welcome Ooh. to Trending SA, THNO, sir. <laughs> Papa. Papa. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So today the Coming to America soundtrack dropped um, and your track Moya Omubi from your album Epsugu is featured on the album Rhythms of Zamunda from the movie. Um, so how did that come about and how did Def Jam people call your people? Did you get a WhatsApp? Was it on Instagram? Did Jermaine himself be like, hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> so, so deaf. <laughs> I'm going to be very honest with you. Um, I am at Universal Music, so I think through that channel that happened, but I had no idea that it was on the soundtrack until I saw a post by Prince KB mm -hmm. talk about it. Oh, wow. That's how I found it. <laughs> <laughs> so is that not like stealing your music? I mean, how does that work? How do the royalties, because they, they don't pay you, how do they just take your music and suddenly it's on a, on a soundtrack? No, it's in the realm of syncing, and that's what record labels should do. It's part of what they should do, put exposure, but also make money. It's business and it's music. So I want to know, because everybody is leaving the, the country and they're just leaving us here, I'm planning on doing it myself. <laughs> are you planning or are you hoping to leverage this opportunity and break into the international market? 
Yes, I definitely would want that. I think that's everyone's dream to have their music be played more than just at home. But I don't know if I'd leave and live outside of South Africa forever. <laughs> I'd love to have my music outside and still come back home and that, that would be great. And I love the fact that you're wanting to come back to us. But let's talk about the album that actually kind of landed you this Coming to America album. So you say that it showcases your sound, which is very distinctive. You call it Afrotronic. I mean, can you tell us about Ibsugu, the album itself, yeah. creation, all the work that goes into it? Well, I called it Afrotronic because I got tired of explaining like what all the sounds are and what genre. Mm. And I don't really believe in genres. I just believe it's either there's good music or there's bad music. So this whole genre thing became, I had to explain it to people. It's like, it's African music that's electronic. So Afrotronic <laughs> and let it go. So I mean, basically, you're the founder, by the way. I'm just putting that out there. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I love that energy. Yeah. There is, there is the energy that we should all bring here, Lisekho. The way you bring it, you think you found it trending. <laughs> he thinks he found it trending. This guy. Um, anyway, so the, the, obviously your album, um, you know, I read in Bubblegum Club, and obviously given the name, it's based on the night. But can you tell us about the concept? What exactly about the night were you writing about? Honestly, it was about my experiences, my solitude, nocturnal solitude of the night. I spent so much time for a good part of five years coming home after touring, producing or whatever, and being alone at night and having, that was the only time I could actually work on my own work was Ipsugu by myself. And through that whole thing, it was a bit cathartic. So I'd go through my own emotions, kind of put that down and that kind of over five years became an album and here we are. I mean, you don't have to be alone at night for much longer, but we'll Aibu. talk afterwards. Carry on. Aibu. So as the, as the founder of Afrotronic, I'm assuming that you're gonna keep pushing and bolstering <laughs> kind of all the work that you're doing. What can we expect in the years to come? And by the way, before you answer, oh. this is besides working with me. What okay. can we expect? Like, leave that part out, it's, it, it gets awkward. <laughs> 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 Quickly. Yeah. I think for me, I think for the most part, I want to do more producing. That's what's happening more. And uh, definitely have more visuals coming out. So yeah. that's something I'll be venturing into more. Nice. Okay, thank cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Trending tonight. It was a pleasure to talk to you about your music, um, about dating, um, about a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> he said nothing about dating. I didn't pick that one up. Like, I, I, I about threw it. it out there. I mean, he, he, it's now in his court. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, let's meet. It's happening. We see. You see, guys, you have to sometimes just like shoot your shot on TV. <laughs> anyway, this segment was brought to you by Vodacom and Everyone Connected Campaign. There are so many reasons why we love our best friends at Vodacom, and they are rewarding you for simply using our Vodacom services through a reward program mm. called Vodabucks. Mm. It's really easy to own Vodabucks. The more you use Vodacom services, pay your bills or recharge with airtime or data, the more you earn. Visit the My Vodacom app, tap Earn Vodabucks, add goals, and complete them. So it's been a lovely week with you. Thank you so much, Dr. Fizz, Dr. Hi. McSteamy, Dr. McDreamy. Stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm here as well. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I, 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 we forgot. Yeah. We were doing a thing. It was like a moment. <laughs> yeah, totally. Anyway, thank you, my player, I guess, for being here too. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in. Make sure you come back next week for more fun and thought-provoking entertainment right here on your home. Tell them about the Omnibus. And yours. The Omnibus. So, um, watch the Omnibus on Sundays. Yes. I'm, I'm going to be on video. it. Watch yeah. this I'm, I'm going to be. I'll, I'll mean. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bye. Mwah.